Cogwork Gaming is proudly brought to you by NoScope Gaming Glasses. NoScope Glasses are designed for anyone who spends long hours work or play in front of a TV or computer screen. NoScope's lenses help block the blue UV lighting that modern screens emit. Through medical research, it's been proven that these blue UV lights are a contributing factor in headaches and eye strains for people like us, or for people who like work for a living. You know, who wants to do that? Anyway, no matter if you have perfect vision, wear contacts, or, like many of us, wear prescription glasses, NoScope makes a product that is right for you. So, please use our description down below to find a NoScope product that is right for you and to help you to stay in the game longer. Stay tuned for today's episode of Cogwork Gaming. How's it going guys? The Beverly Hibbly here. And today we have episode 4 of The Beverly Hibbly Plays Metal Gear Solid 5. And we started out on a horse. So, let's get right into the action. Watch our backs. Shoot him. I'm getting there, don't tell me Do. Whoa. Well, fine, I'll reload it now. This is like some John Marston stuff here, I swear. I'm trying to. Yeah, I hit him. Well. I missed him, so I'm gonna reload and take forever. Woo! Man, it's hard to aim with a joy pad, game pad, after using the keyboard for so many years. Or for so many months. I haven't been playing PC for that long. It's just. You don't realize how much more accurate that the um, mouse and keyboard is until you begin using a, you know, like, Xbox 360 controller after a period of time. Yeah, there we are. I have one arm! Calm your tits. I can't see him. We shook him off. No, we didn't. I'm running out of ammo. I'm One bullet left. What happened? Do we make it? Do we make it? Do we make it? What's going on? I was so confused, I was mixing up facts. Whoa! Whoa! Now we're falling into a ravine. Oh my god, what is going on? Whew! This is a lot of action for a Metal Gear Solid game. I was not ready for this. I just got off work. And we're alive! We need more people like Snake and Big Boss in this world. Tough people that don't know how to die. Ooh! Codename Chick. So apparently the scoring system is kind of a thing in Metal Gear Solid 5. I don't really care about any of it. I didn't care about it in 1, 3... But whatever, if it's there, we'll deal with it. But I've already seen this. I've already seen this cutscene. And we already know that we're alive because I got my scorecard and I scored an egg. An A, not an egg. Oh god, Psychomantis is back. Psychomantis, I want none of you. Go back to 
Come on. So, like, what happened? He's disappeared. So, Psycho Mantis, if, I, if that is Psycho Mantis, I can't imagine who else it would be. They're not hellbent on killing me, like, on sight. It's weird. The name's Ocelot. What? Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. The first was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. What? What is Ocelot doing? You remember? Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. So 20 years ago, we were kind of out at each other's um, faces with revolvers, and now we're cool. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. <laughs> I'm not much on what, Keeper Sutherland world affairs in a voicing um, Snake. Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. The Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. The squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. So far, Ocelot's aged well. Well, there's our ride. Ooh. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Kasim, another three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. So now we're all hunky dory with Ocelot. Like, we were shooting each other in the 60s, and now we're cool, and then in 1998 and beyond, we're back to shooting each other in the faces. Well, I didn't see that coming. I'll give Hideo Kojima credit. I'm being surprised a lot already. This looks like a game that is not resting on its past, but drawing on its past and then throwing wrenches and rubber chickens everywhere. Revenge. Oh. Cyprus. At least someone showed me a map. It looks like here Snake's being taught to, like, be a soldier again. Oop! Getting a ton of drugs. The revolver. Aha! Oh god, that ponytail.
Oh yeah, ugh. He needed that arm to smoke a cig. It, it, I... So far the game pace is pretty fast. Metal Gear Solid Fit games don't have the world's fastest pace ever. Ooh. Music? You get music. Okay. And... Du, 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 du. Alright, so... Ooh. I think here the actual, like, game game improper is starting. Like, we've got now the prologue. Things look a little bit more serial. It's pretty, though. You could the area Ooh. ahead is under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for ten days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storms passing. It's nice to see that the internet was being put to great use in 1984. Because we all know the internet's been around since the mid-60s. It's kind of funny how a piece of military technology is now used to watch videos of cats jumping and pornography. You getting used to it? Try an egg on my computer, but ooh, that's that's pretty. After nine years on ice, the solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces should be the perfect warm. -up. Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. Okay. You see Wandi on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Marker placed. Okay, so, no, let's, let's go there. Marker placed. Go ahead and close the iDroid. Don't rush me. Got your binoculars, or should I say, your int scope? Ooh, hit the see the village straight ahead. Oh, oh, I see something blinking. All right, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about. It. I see something blinking. That's Vialo Village, the Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviets' 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Deha. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. <laughs> well. Marker placed. All right. Well, can I go yet? Take a look through your binoculars. Oop. Yes. Now what? Marker Good. Placed. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. Something wrong? You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail. And he dies. 
we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. Look at that sweet horn. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return this big boss. That's how Koss would want it. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survived. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. <laughs> the sunglasses get a mention. Now go! Let the legend come back to life. Those overly obnoxious <laughs> hand gestures? That's Ocelot. All right, so really quickly, I need to get rid of a couple markers. Marker okay, so yeah. let's go. Nope. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, ah, there we are. And the servers are still having issues with working. Yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're running a little bit too fast there. I don't want to charge into a place that um, I'm just going to get shot at because I'm running. There's a Soviet guard post. There are bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. I'm getting there. Let me find them. Oh, there's one. That's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. It's up to you whether to slip by enemies or take them down. Just remember that any situation can change fast. Familiarize yourself with your weapons and items while you can. You need to be able to switch between them quickly to meet any threat. Okay. Yeah. So, I should be able to just do this. Sight, sound, keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Okay, so far looking good. There we are. I may be, be I may be going a little too over the top with the leaning on the side, but you, you can never be too careful. Metal Gear Solid games have taught me to never ever be too careful. Okay, nearly escaped that situation. Almost at the enemy outpost, Violo Village. 
The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Actually, this place. Oh, horsey, you stay here. Let me see if I can climb up here. Ooh. That rock does. That rock actually does a great job of overlooking. How about it? Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars to recon them. Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. Hmm. You know, I actually don't see anything at all. This is really weird. Well, let me go back to my horsey. So I have reached destination C. So I can remove that marker. And I think I just saved. Well, the game auto saves, which is really, really annoying. But anyway, let's call this an episode. Thank you so much for watching episode... What episode is this? This is episode 5. Episode 5. No. Wait. No. Episode 4. This is a long episode. Thank you for watching episode 4 of the Beverly Hibbly Plays Metal Gear Solid 5. You all know what to do. Like the video. Tell us all about it in the comment section. And if this is your very first Cogwork Gaming episode, welcome to Cogwork Gaming. Thank you for finding us, and thanks for watching. We really appreciate your viewership and your time. Show your support by subscribing and telling your friends about us. For Cogwork Gaming, I'm the Beverly Hillbilly. Thank you so much for watching, and good night.